Continue to follow our top story this hour. Lori Vallow, the mother of the two missing Rexburg children, faced a judge in Hawaii. Her arraignment finishing up just minutes ago. Our Shira Matsuzawa is here to fill us in on what happened at court. Tammy, you watched that hearing live right here on KTVB, and this is what some of you may have seen moments ago. Take a look. You can see Lori's new husband, Chad Daybell, was also in court. Lori's representation said because Hawaii law governs bail, they requested bail be reduced to $10,000. The prosecutor asked that the judge deny that bail request because she poses a flight risk. Take a listen to what the judge decided just minutes ago. All right. Then, uh, first of all, as to bail, uh, bail is confirmed in the amount of $5 million. Again, the bond is set at $5 million. You can see Lori also mouths what appears to be saying $5 million. Lori's attorney also mentioned Idaho police were questioning Lori while she was in custody, and she'll be back in court Monday, March 2nd. Now, this, of course, all comes after Kauai police arrested Val nearly 24 hours ago on the island. She's been charged with two felony counts on desertion of dependent children, as well as resisting or obstructing officers and criminal solicitation to commit a crime. Her children, Tylee and JJ, have been missing since September. Today, KTVB obtained the probable cause affidavit that led to Lori's arrest and you can read it in its entirety on KTVB.com. Meantime, I also spoke with Idaho Governor Brad Little's office this morning. The governor would have to sign a request for extradition. A spokesperson for the office tells me that they have not yet received a request, but they're ready to do their role in the process if called upon. Tammy. Okay, thank you, Shira. And you can catch up on all of our coverage on this developing story, including this hour's developments. Just text the word missing to the number there on your screen, 208-321-5614. We'll also carry a news conference from Kauai Police at 6 p.m. on air and online at KTVB.com.